Got a cool little project working on here today. And what it is, is putting this seat, um, Go Comfort uh, Stadium seat. Let me get you an idea of what it looks like. And I'm gonna put that on this um, ooh, Ascend. 9R Sport, which normally has a padded seat that sits in here, but my daughter hates it, my wife hates it, no one who sat on this likes it at all, so, alright, here we go, let me explain what my thought process is before I get to cutting things, oh, oh there it is, <coughs> I went to I went to um, Lowe's and I got this uh, three-quarter. You can see it over there. Three-quarter EMT tubing. It was like ten bucks for a for a whole stick. I think it's ten foot long. Um, I've used uh, I used five uh, half inch. Sorry, when I modified my cart here. But so I've got a bit of three-quarter tubing and then I ordered these um, 5 8 three-quarter super stick pole clips um, let me show you what they are they're these I'll try to get different light um, hard, to, hard to show you um, but the three quarter and the five eighths ones are perfect for the like half inch tubing. I actually had a different plan when I ordered this stuff. Um, I had planned on um, making the feet. So if you look at the bonafide the eye rock, I love this thing. By the way, <laughs> it's got these feet on it that the end. And I still might do this, but I thought about something else. I thought about what if I simply put the um, mounts straight to the kayak. So the back is like a hinge assembly maybe. I don't know. I'm still I'm still up in the air on what I think would work. So, let me tinker, and I'll come back to you. Hmm. I lost my mark. Alright, I'm going to try, I'm going to try one way first. Let's see how it goes. I'm going to try the, the, the bona fide way. Which is just a straight to across on this. Let's nice. <laughs> that probably <coughs> that probably just rattled your brains out. Alright, let's see. My idea was this. I would come in here and I would drill holes. I'm late for this one. I would drill holes through the through the half inch, through the three-quarter, let the three-quarter be my base. Um, one in the front, one in the back. Sorry. I was kind of tinkering, so I don't know what I want to do yet. Yeah. So it would sit like that. It might sit a little high, too. That's, that is a concern. Alright. 
Let me take her with this. Be right back. I was overthinking this whole thing. Um, what I'm going to do is something very simple. A lot simpler than what I had planned. <clears throat> so, basically, I took the three-quarter EMT tubing, some stainless screws, just some stainless hardware in general, and these four clips, super stick. I will, uh, I'll put a link in the description, but put this bar, I added this bar to the seat and I was going to add it to the front here, but your leg is really close to this bar. So I was scared of screw or anything protruding here it was going to hinder it. And then uh, I wasn't sure how deep this went. So I went another route and I may change this after the fact. So what I've done the other bar I flatten the ends to stiffen this up so basically got this uh, this area and it's also that's the section you know right here is where the, it, they all crack I hope you can hear me okay <clears throat> but uh so that just kind of stiffens that box up that that top section so now there's no more flicks between that really stiffens it up that's a stainless steel screw obviously this is not stainless steel but I'm gonna coat it um, to uh, try to help some of the salt water. Uh, so basically, the uh, and I've got to cut these bolts as well. They stick way out. I wasn't sure what size that needs, so I just went along. Um, so basically, this back bar will clip into these clips. Um, the these bars, the front of them, will clip into these fronts, and that piece right there will stabilize it, and it actually seats it in a pretty well pretty uh, good angle um, as far as securing it down so where it won't like come off at all um, I'll probably just throw some zip ties on it these clips actually uh, my wife come out here and just moved all over got on and off and sat up standing up standing up sitting down plopping down in it hard um, these clips held it really well now what I will 
what I will say, they make some one inch clips. Um, the center mark of where these are should not change if I were to order the uh, one inch size, which I probably will. These would hold my anchor pole on the wall or on the kayak somewhere if I wanted to, or on the boat for that matter. Um, so I'm thinking of ordering the one inch because these are kind of hard to get on and off. Um, and when you clip them on the half inch here, the small one, it holds it pretty well. So, uh, so I probably will do that. So FYI, if you order these and you're doing three quarter EMT tubing, order the, uh, the one inch clips and I'll put a link to those in the description. That's the only thing I would change about what I got right here in the video. Uh, so let me put it together and I'll show you. Trying to get you in the clip, right? tightly in these Ow. yeah we'll definitely get the other clips plus they go around that they go around the tubing better than what these are um. <laughs> all right so I got to get the front first apparently Yeah, front's got to go on first. And you can see how tight they are as they're clipping in these things. <laughs> ah, there we go. All right. You see, moving the whole kayak. Clips work. So you got plenty of space here. It's dispersed across. They actually make the end caps for these EMT tubing. Bought that as well. I'll put a link to all the pieces that I used. Um, <clears throat> And then, if I really want to be OCD about it, if I really want to be OCD about it, um, there's, I still got these tie downs. I can put a tie wrap here. But, all right, that's solid. So, what did I do? I bolted three quarter EMT tubing to, uh, let me get over here working see the face okay I bolted three-quarter EMT tubing across if you're wondering um, the length of that section without going over the little boxes on the side is 19 and a half inches exactly um, or it is on my molds may be different so 19 two, two 19 inch 19 and a half inch tubes you could do the same thing on the front as I did on the back just bolt to the chair put the chair over it zip tie it down if you wanted to or just screw those those clips regardless at the moment i've done no major modifications if i needed to undo this put a padded seat back on it anything like that it's a matter of taking that out taking some uh, hdp welding up the screw holes that i just placed in it no harm no foul and uh, everything's good done that quite a few times on other kayaks it's really not a problem so all right all the links will be down below and look for a on the water video of this chair and how it works and i'll also get my wife to let me know how tippy it is i obviously will not be getting on it i weigh more than 275 pounds which is what this kayak is rated for so already being over plus elevated seat i'm pretty sure i would go straight into the water all right with all that being said ascend 9r sport um what was it comfort go seat yeah, comfort go seat. Um, so far, I think it's a win. Uh, my next step, uh, probably after Christmas, to be honest, um, notice something in my daughter's car, is, let me get it where you can see. Probably be putting uh, some track mounts 
somewhere. I don't know where yet. Got to figure that out. Um, maybe as simple as mounting them in the bottom of the side boxes. Um, it's hard to see, but the boxes on the side of the seat, <clears throat> which are super awesome, <laughs> super awesome on this thing. Um, we'll probably be putting some uh, some sort of bungee set up on the back uh, to give her a place to put something. Um, but this thing is huge. There's a lot of deck space, so shouldn't have any issues, to be honest. Get her some uh, little small tackle box and a rod and a paddle and a paddle leash. Net and some pliers. Um, I'm looking at possibly putting one of these rod holders right here. And honestly, I want to put it to where it's, it angles back down in this hole, but I don't know, honestly, I don't know if I can. So, I'm going to be looking into that. I may have to, may have to do it that way. Um, yeah, so anyway, I'm looking into it. I don't want to cut any holes until I know for sure. If anybody, if any of you guys have put those rod holders on, let me know. Uh, if those don't work, I'm going to put some, uh, some track on the edges, the outer edges here. And uh, that way she can have some bazooka tubes or something to put rods in just, you know, un until you need them. And uh, with that, I can set her up on some popping corks and some shrimp. She can throw them in the rod holders and goof off, paddle around, float around, and uh, probably catch more fish than I do, to be honest. All right, guys. One more thing I almost forgot about was when you close this thing down, it's got this strap on it that helps keep it down and then fly off. I wouldn't trust it going down the road. I don't do it on that one either, on my big one. Um, I always throw a strap across. <clears throat> With that being said, I will probably add some, and that's hard to see, but some handles like that that I have on the side of mine. I probably will add some handles on the sides to uh, do a couple things. Have a place to tie it down. Um, it's got these paddle holders on the side, but there's no strap to like, lock it in place. So probably add that as well. A couple things, you know, project's never done. That's that, that's a wrap. 9R Sport, seat. I'll throw some photos up. Uh, when the daylight comes. <laughs> so, peace out. Appreciate you watching. Later.